American bomber development traces its origins to World War I, a period when aviation became a determining factor in warfare. The U.S. entered the war with an underdeveloped aviation industry, but recognized the need for rapid progress. This led to the birth of American bombers like the Martin MB-1 introduced in 1917. The MB-1, a twin-engine bomber, showcased key features that would define future American bombers, a robust airframe, reliable engines, and a substantial bomb payload. Its success laid the foundation for subsequent generations of American bombers, marking a pivotal moment in military aviation history and contributing to the development of iconic bomber aircraft. Join me as we explore the new U.S. stealth laser bomber that will destroy Russia in three seconds. The outbreak of World War I in 1914 presented a unique opportunity for the Glenn L. Martin Company to demonstrate the capabilities of their new bomber. While the United States did not officially enter the war until 1917, American aviators and their aircraft played an important role in combat as volunteers for the Allied forces. The Martin MB-1 was produced during World War I when Glenn L. Martin, an innovative aviation pioneer, established the Glenn L. Martin Company. The company embarked on a mission to develop military aircraft that could contribute to the rapidly evolving aviation field. Their vision led to the creation of the MB-1 bomber, which would become the first of its kind in American history. The Martin MB-1 was a biplane, a common configuration in early 20th century aircraft design. This arrangement featured two sets of wings, one stacked above the other, which offered stability, lift, and maneuverability advantages. The MB-1 boasted an impressive wingspan of 71 feet, providing it with substantial lift and stability during flight. This extended wingspan allowed for the carriage of a significant bomb load, a critical requirement for a bomber aircraft. The aircraft's length measured 44 feet, giving it a streamlined and balanced appearance. The aircraft's airframe was primarily constructed using wood, a prevailing material in aviation. The wooden framework was then covered with fabric, typically linen or cotton. This fabric served a dual purpose, a protective covering and an aerodynamic surface. While the use of wood and fabric may appear rudimentary by modern standards, it was a reflection of the available technology and materials of the era. In contrast to the enclosed and technologically advanced cockpits of contemporary bombers, the Martin MB-1 featured an open cockpit design. This design choice meant that the pilot and gunners were exposed to the elements and the rigors of high-altitude flight. Crew members required specialized flight gear to withstand the harsh conditions, highlighting the pioneering nature of early aviation. Powering the MB-1 were two Liberty Vi-12 engines. These engines were highly regarded for their robustness and reliability, making them ideal for military aviation during World War I. The V-12 configuration, featuring 12 cylinders arranged in a V-shape, was a common choice for aircraft engines due to its combination of power and smooth operation. Each Liberty V-12 engine produced approximately 400 horsepower, this power output was significant for its time and allowed the MB-1 to carry a substantial bomb load while maintaining reasonable speed and maneuverability. The Martin MB-1 had a top speed of around 105 miles per hour, a notable achievement during the early 20th century. While this speed might seem modest compared to modern aircraft, it was considered impressive at the time. The aircraft had a range of approximately 290 miles, enabling it to undertake bombing missions deep into enemy territory. This combination of speed and range was crucial for its role in strategic bombing. One of the key innovations of the MB-1 was its bomb-carrying capability. It could carry up to 2,200 pounds of bombs, a significant advancement. The ability to deliver such payloads marked a crucial step forward in developing aerial warfare, showcasing the potential for aircraft to become formidable military assets. American aviators, including those flying the MB-1, joined the fight in Europe as part of the American Expeditionary Forces. The MB-1 made its combat debut in 1918, participating in missions alongside other Allied aircraft. These missions primarily focused on disrupting German supply lines, attacking enemy positions, and supporting ground forces. This early experience with strategic bombing laid the foundation for future generations of American bomber aircraft, 
which would become essential components of military strategy in subsequent conflicts. The lessons learned from the MB-1's operations helped shape the U.S. Air Force's approach to aerial warfare in the following years. World War II also witnessed the widespread use of strategic bombing to disrupt enemy industry, infrastructure, and morale. These bombing campaigns aimed to cripple the industrial capacity of enemy nations, reduce their ability to wage war, and shorten the conflict. The success of these missions would profoundly impact the outcome of the war. The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress emerged as one of the iconic bombers of World War II. Known for its durability and defensive firepower, the B-17 was used extensively in precision daylight bombing raids against Nazi Germany. The lessons learned from early strategic bombing, including formation flying and concentrated bomb loads, were applied to B-17 missions. These aircraft demonstrated the ability to strike deep into enemy territory and played a crucial role in weakening the Nazi war machine. The Boeing B-29 Superfortress represented a leap forward in bomber technology. It was the first bomber capable of flying at high altitudes beyond the reach of enemy fighters. The B-29's pressurized cabin, advanced radar systems, and long-range capabilities allowed for precision bombing. Most notably, the B-29 was used to drop atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, leading to Japan's surrender. These missions were a testament to the culmination of lessons learned from the early days of strategic bombing and highlighted the devastating power of modern bombers. The Martin MB-1, despite its early simplicity, laid the groundwork for the development of strategic bombing doctrine. Its missions demonstrated the potential of aircraft as formidable military assets. The experiences gained from these early missions, such as the importance of range, payload capacity, and coordination, influenced the design and deployment of later bombers like the B-17 and B-29. The Cold War era ushered in a new chapter in the history of bomber development and marked a period of intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. The legacy of the Martin MB-1 continued to influence American bomber design, ultimately giving rise to iconic aircraft like the B-52 Stratofortress and the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. These aircraft, equipped with cutting-edge technology and the ability to deliver nuclear payloads, underscored the enduring significance of strategic bombers in national defense. The Cold War was characterized by political tension and military rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. Both superpowers recognized the importance of strategic bombers as a means to deter aggression and project power on a global scale. Bombers became a symbol of military might and played a central role in nuclear deterrence. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, introduced in the 1950s, became an enduring icon of American military power. Its longevity and adaptability reflected the lessons learned from earlier bombers like the Martin MB-1. Initially conceived as a high-altitude nuclear bomber, the B-52 was adapted for low-level penetration missions and conventional bombing. Its versatility and ability to carry a variety of munitions made it a cornerstone of American strategic air power throughout the Cold War. The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, introduced in the early 1990s, represented another leap forward in bomber technology. Building on the legacy of earlier bombers, the B-2 incorporated advanced stealth technology, making it nearly invisible to radar. This capability allowed the B-2 to penetrate heavily defended airspace and deliver precision strikes with nuclear or conventional munitions. The B-2 Spirit embodied the principle of nuclear deterrence and symbolized American technological prowess during the Cold War and beyond. An arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union marked the Cold War. Strategic bombers were at the forefront of this competition. Both nations sought to develop faster, more capable, and more technologically advanced bombers. These aircraft's constant development and deployment served as a deterrent against using nuclear weapons. Even in the 21st century, the influence of the Martin MB-1 continues to resonate in the design and operation of American bombers. While today's bombers are vastly more advanced and sophisticated, the fundamental concept of delivering precision strikes over long distances remains a core mission. The Martin MB-1's role as a pioneer in strategic bombing paved the way for the development of the B-1B Lancer and the B-21 Raider, 
showcasing the enduring legacy of Glenn L. Martin's visionary contributions to aviation. The concept of delivering precision strikes over long distances is at the heart of bomber operations in the 21st century. This mission, aimed at neutralizing high-value targets with precision munitions, has its roots in the strategic bombing doctrine pioneered by the Martin MB-1 during World War I. While the technology and tactics have evolved significantly, the core principle of strategic bombing remains unchanged. The B-1B Lancer is a supersonic strategic bomber aircraft operated by the United States Air Force, USAF. Originally developed as a replacement for the B-52 Stratofortress, it boasts a variable sweep wing design, allowing it to optimize performance for various mission profiles. With the capability to fly at supersonic speeds exceeding Mach 1 and maintain high subsonic speeds, the B-1B offers rapid response capabilities. This bomber has an impressive range and payload capacity, accommodating a variety of munitions, including nuclear and conventional bombs, air-to-surface missiles, and precision-guided munitions. While not a stealth aircraft, it incorporates features to reduce its radar cross-section and enhance survivability in contested airspace. Additionally, advanced electronic warfare systems bolster its defenses. The B-1B serves many roles including strategic nuclear deterrence, close air support, interdiction, and maritime operations. It has seen action in numerous conflicts, showcasing its precision strike capabilities in conventional and counterterrorism missions. Vital to U.S. strategic deterrence, it can deliver nuclear weapons if necessary. Modernization efforts have improved its avionics and communication systems, with future upgrades planned, including engine enhancements and new weapon integration. With its global reach and rapid deployment capability, the B-1B Lancer remains a versatile and essential component of the USAF's arsenal, supporting national defense and power projection worldwide. But in the most recent effort to scale the limits surrounding bombers, the U.S. Secretary of Defense has revealed a groundbreaking stealth bomber capable of obliterating an entire continent in just three seconds. This remarkable aircraft represents a marvel of contemporary engineering and technology. The plane is accessible to only 10 individuals worldwide, took over three decades to develop, and incurred a cost of $50 billion to American taxpayers. The B-21 Raider operates at 685 miles per hour, establishing itself as one of the fastest aircraft ever constructed. What distinguishes it is that it is autonomously controlled, armed with an exceedingly precise laser, and possesses the capability to unleash a devastating carpet bomb or even execute a nuclear strike against adversaries. This aircraft possesses a value that exceeds twice its weight in gold, and its combat capabilities are sufficient to lay waste to multiple cities in a single mission. In contrast to fighter aircraft, whose primary mission is to defend and intercept, the creation of the B-21 Raider by Northrop Grumman was aimed at deterrence, as few would be audacious enough to challenge a nation equipped with the undetectable B-21 Raider supersonic bomber. The brightest minds within the Pentagon invested the entirety of their expertise and years of their lives in the development of this aircraft. In the 1980s, the U.S. introduced the B-2 Spirit Bomber, aiming to make a stealthy and fast aircraft capable of carrying nuclear weapons worldwide. They designed it with unique angled surfaces and no vertical elements to reduce its radar visibility. However, this design had a problem. The stealth coating was vulnerable to moisture, making it ineffective in rainy conditions. This led to improvements in stealth coatings, benefiting the B-21 Raider. The B-21 Raider has advanced defense systems, including lasers, developed by Lockheed Martin. These lasers can protect the aircraft from threats like drones and high-speed boats. The layered laser defense system combines multiple laser beams into one powerful beam capable of cutting through steel. Lasers don't need ammunition, unlike traditional weapons, making them safer for the crew. The laser also acts as a high-resolution telescope for tracking and assessing target damage. This advanced protection makes the Raider nearly impervious to adversaries while delivering its arsenal worldwide. The bomber's main role is to carry nuclear bombs with precision. It can bypass enemy defenses, reach critical targets, intercept missiles with its lasers, and release a powerful three-ton bomb. It can also perform carpet bombings by dispersing 40 smaller bombs in mid-air, devastating large areas quickly. 
For precise missions, it has homing bombs guided by a concealed radar system, ensuring accuracy. Surprisingly, a contender is emerging in the form of China, which is currently preparing for the maiden flight of its stealth bomber, known as the H-20. This aircraft is designed as a strategic bomber, featuring technologies to reduce radar detection. The Chinese Air Force aims to acquire a formidable aircraft capable of conducting uninterrupted flights spanning 6,200 miles, while carrying a payload ranging from 10 to 20 tons. Notably, the H-20 becomes the world's third stealth bomber to adopt a flying wing design, following in the footsteps of the B-2 Spirit and the B-21 Raider. The sources of inspiration for Chinese engineers are evident when examining the H-20. The H-20 aircraft can achieve 500 miles per hour, falling short of its American counterpart's 685 miles per hour, while the H-20 boasts a maximum range of 6,200 miles. The B-21 can cover an additional 1,200 miles on a single tank of fuel. Furthermore, the Chinese bomber needs the laser capabilities of its American counterpart, resulting in inferior armament. Lastly, the B-21 Raider holds a substantial advantage as a fully unmanned aircraft, distinguishing it from the H-20. Indeed, America's bomber essentially functions as an advanced drone. The aircraft's position in flight remains under constant monitoring by an advanced electronic system connected to each surface and engine. Advanced artificial intelligence plays a pivotal role, allowing the Raider to operate in two modes, one with a human pilot and the other entirely reliant on AI, eliminating human intervention. These capabilities enable the aircraft to be deployed in intense combat without risking a pilot's life. Moreover, artificial intelligence remains consistently operational, devoid of fatigue and immune to human errors. The B-21's navigation features an enhanced tactical system developed by Rockwell Collins, streamlining the pilot's responsibilities and assuming certain control functions. A satellite communication system referred to as Link 16, often dubbed the Sky Internet, has been integrated for data transmission. This system possesses the capacity to transmit vast quantities of data, effectively transforming the radar into a central command hub for coordinating with other aircraft and drones. The notion of an unmanned bomber armed with nuclear capabilities elicits both fascination and apprehension. Presently, the B-21 Raider appears highly promising. However, like any aircraft, it has its limitations, and potential challenges on its path remain uncertain. Whether it will encounter a fate akin to its predecessor, which remains to be seen despite its technical sophistication, stealth capabilities, and classified storage facilities did not attain widespread favor within the military. The new B-21 Raider, nevertheless, holds incredible potential due to its laser armament, remarkable speed, and reliance on artificial intelligence, positioning it as a truly formidable weapon. The United States has also acknowledged the necessity of state-of-the-art munitions for the B-21 Raider bomber. Billions of dollars have been allocated from the budget, not only for advanced combat platforms, but also for intelligent projectiles. The Laser Joint Direct Attack Munition is a high-precision combat system that leverages both GPS and laser guidance to target and engage mobile objectives, effectively converting unguided or dumb bombs into all-weather precision munitions with an exceptional level of precision. Boeing introduced the initial sets of these munitions in 1997, incorporating wings attached to the bomb's midsection and a tail assembly equipped with controlled fins, significantly enhancing their maneuverability. The system also integrated a computer and various navigation instruments. The fundamental concept behind laser-guided bombs demonstrated far greater reliability than their infrared counterparts, especially in challenging surface conditions like dust storms, smoke, fog, and dense clouds which can severely impede infrared accuracy. Research, development, testing, and evaluation for an enhanced version of JDAM commenced in 1992 to address these challenges. Despite initial skepticism regarding the use of GPS, the U.S. Air Force initiated the JDAM Operational Concept Demonstration Program at Eglin Air Force Base to validate the concept's feasibility and technical viability. Contractors such as McDonnell Douglas, Honeywell, 
Javert Drop Technology and Interstate Electronics Corporation were enlisted to aid in demonstrating the effectiveness of GPS-guided munitions. In 1993, the first release of a JDAM equipped with INS GPS guidance occurred, effectively engaging a target 88,000 feet away from the aircraft. The OCD program conducted a series of assessments under varying weather conditions, ranges, and altitudes, achieving a circular error probability of 36 feet. By 1997, the initial JDAMs were delivered, and in the ensuing two years, 450 of these bombs were deployed, confirming their reliability with a claimed CEP accuracy of less than 33 feet. JDAM bombs emerged as a cost-effective alternative to cruise missiles, with estimated tail kit costs of $18,000 per unit due to competitive bidding and contracts with McDonnell Douglas. As of 2020, the U.S. Air Force expressed interest in a mechanized JDAM as a cost-efficient substitute for cruise missiles, owing to its economical engine, capacity for low-altitude operations, and affordability. A significant improvement made to JDAMs involved incorporating a laser homing system in the front section of the bomb. This enhancement significantly increased their effectiveness by enabling them to target and strike moving objectives accurately. In collaboration with Elbit Systems, Boeing developed the Precision Laser Guidance Set System, which included the DSU-38B Laser Seeker. These modifications paved the way for JDAMs to precisely engage moving targets. JDAMs attracted international interest, with Germany becoming the initial international customer in 2008, followed by Japan and South Korea. Boeing collaborated with Korean specialists to produce a 2000-pound variant, the JDAM-ER, featuring improved wing kits that tripled the range while maintaining accuracy. Boeing even proposed a jet-powered tail kit to extend the flight range by a factor of 10. In the present day, the lethal combination of the Laser Seeker and Mark 82 bomb is employed across various aircraft platforms, including the AV-8B Harrier II, A-10 Thunderbolt II, B-1B Lancer, B-2A Spirit, B-52H Stratofortress, and the coming B-21 Raider. The prospects for the B-21 Raiders are intriguing with plans to integrate cutting-edge weapon systems. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.